Are you going through a spiritual awakening? Well, let's talk about it, about the ego and the impending death of it. First, what is the ego? The ego is a term developed by Sigmund Freud, one of the fathers of psychology, and it is described as your sense of self in this reality-based experience. It is one part of this trifold explanation of the human experience of the mind. Psychology describes the ego as the part of the psyche that represents our conscious identity and the self-image that we carry. The ego is the part of us that is aware of our environment, our thoughts, and our feelings. Ego is responsible for making decisions and taking action based on the information that we currently have access to. It is taught that the ego helps to protect us from danger, to maintain our self-esteem and to help us to interact with the world around us. We are taught that it is important to have a healthy ego as it can help us to stay in control and make decisions which are best for us. Now, let's talk about the ego in terms of spiritual development because this is a huge thing that you are going to have to learn. So, let's go back to the ego being one prong of understanding in this trifold human experience. The ego is the balancing point between what is called the id and the superego. The id represents your intuition and your instinctual knowledge. The id is a piece of you that would come closest to representing what we would now call your higher self. This is the whisper of your spirit. And ironically, this would be depicted as a devil whispering into your ear from your shoulder. On the other side of this is the superego, which depicts a sense of morality and the spiritual whispers of what is right and what is wrong according to your experience as you see things in your outer world. This is the space where judgments are formed against the things outside of you. This would be depicted as an angel whispering into your ear from your other shoulder on a subconscious level. But really, in a spiritual sense, these are depictions of your light and dark sides, your light body and your shadow self. Part of your awakening and integration of these aspects of you into one results in the dissipation or continued death of your ego because you can no longer operate as one fragmented piece of who you were meant to be. Your ego is the part of you that likes to gossip, embellish, brag, all these low vibrational behaviors which we are taught to live in because it keeps us divided. So, now you know. What are you going to do about it? 